Well, if we have 50 people, I'll do the portal thing. Because I do still want to do a mass portal. That's true. Um, but no, we need a lot more people for that. Alright, so we've got folks here. Here's what we're going to do. So I'm going to... Oh, I have a cultism already. So come on out, everybody here. There's already blood here. Interesting. But don't report blood, guys. Awkward. Yeah, guys, come over here. Welcome to the hell swap. Yeah, I know. It's true. <laughs> Doesn't matter. That's a good point. So, um, send out mounts and pets um, in a relatively small location. So what I'm going to do is we're just going to see and make sure... Sorry, that um, Hell Spear is only going to affect eight targets. Here's the thing. If you are affected by Hell Spear, or your pet is, um, after the Hell Spear goes off, please keep note of your pet and your own buffs and debuffs, or in this case, just debuffs, and just give a number with how many of you were affected. So it's going to be 0, 1, 2, or 3. Uh, if it's 0, please type 0. Okay, so if none of you were affected, please go ahead and type that out. Um, so I'm going to wait about 8 to 20 seconds here just to make sure everybody has the instructions. And then also let me go ahead and bloodlust and put everybody in a smaller location because I absolutely love the Shadow Vortex. <laughs> oh, man. Is it good for the purpose of testing? Um, so hopes on this Bella, if you haven't seen this, you're going to love it. Look at this. Oof. It's bri- Oh, somebody just got, like, pushed out there. Wow. All right, so that's perfect. All right, so I think the instructions are good. All right, here we go. We're going to do this. Oh no, don't, don't fight me. No, All right. everybody's AOEing me. All right, and here we go. Perfect. <laughs> of course, I'm a bubble. Popped you out of the circle, huh? All right, so how many of you folks were affected by that? Two out of two, okay. So yeah, it looks I'm, like, go ahead. It's, uh, I mean, I, I don't know if you saw it. I said two out of three though. Okay, that's good. Um, two, two. Yeah, so it looks like Odium, Bella, Lancet, Lava Spark, okay, Cedar, Fluffy. One. Yep, one time. So that, that all adds up. Two, three, four, five, six. There's one person that hasn't said anything. Uh, but we have got, we've got a list here. So if you were affected, if you were affected, um, leave the area completely so that you can't see me. Oh, I, I can't. So, thinking. 200 meters. Then come back. So, after you guys leave and leave the 200 meters away, you have to leave all the way. 200 meters. Everybody leave. And then you have to come back. Okay? So... Wait, don't, don't, you, uh, don't you leave render after, like, 150 or so? I just want to make sure that that's the case. So, you're right. Okay. You do leave render at about 150. But just go ahead and leave the area and then just come back. And so now, I'm sorry, Julie May, but you are the last remaining person here. So you should be the one getting hit by this Hell Spear. Um, and then after this, we'll test to make sure that multiple Hell Spears are always hitting the same people. Because I, I should have done that first, but we'll start out this way. Then we'll just prove, we're, we're going to prove the same thing, but in, in the opposite way. Should be perfectly fine. All right. So everybody's going to come back now. I don't, where's everybody? We're still... We're still missing people. And then make sure that your mounts and pets are out as well. And Julie May, you're just going to sit there. Don't worry too much. Uh, don't desummon anything for sure. We want to make sure that you get hit by this. All right. Here we go. So I'm going to pull everybody back in. Is this everybody? Three, four, five. Yeah, nice. All right. Pull everybody back in with Shadow Vortex. Just like doing that. I do, actually. It is so cool. Look at that. That's I freaking love Shadow Vortex. All right. Here we go. And bam. So, who was hit by Hellspree? We'll find out in a second. So Julie May was hit, for sure. I don't know if, if their pet was. They haven't said anything. Um, Julie May's pets, what are what are the pets named? Um, Mirage, the little horse, and... Uh, you didn't see on the pets. Oh, that's interesting too. So maybe it does target players over pets, but we've only got five people here. So that could be a pretty interesting thing. So now we're, what we're going to do is we're going to do that again and see if the exact same people were hit. 
Here we go. All right. So I'm going to just screenshot this really quickly because otherwise it's going to uh, spam up the logs. We'll screenshot this guy. Six, seven, I think that's right. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. And now we're going to look and I can see again what was hit. Lance, you said three. Might be going by yeah. the player in mounts, actually. Which is interesting. Uh, interestingly, the first time, the first test, it was me and then my Lava Spark. Mm -hmm. uh, the second time, it was me and then my, my my elk mount. My lava spark was not hit. And then the third time, all three of us were hit. So I'm okay. not quite sure how that's working out. Odium looks like he got hit this time, but did not get hit last time. Let's see if that's true. That does seem to be true. I think this is something we'll need us specifically like 30 people for. That's kind of how we tested it last time without pets or anything. And we were very, very clearly seeing over and over again um, that it wasn't random who was getting picked. It was always the same people. Um, or maybe they removed it. Maybe they do some other... Maybe it really is random now in 4.5. We don't know. This is why we're retesting this and seeing if the mechanic has changed. Uh, so for this specifically, let's go ahead and move this off the table. I think that uh, both of these tests were exactly the way they were supposed to be done, but we need more people for that. So again, if you guys are just tuning into Twitch right now and you want to help us out with testing in the public test server, feel free to come down. You can just teleport over to GHA and you'll get to us very quickly. So let's go ahead and move on then. I think this was the, the first thing that I wanted to test, but I want to go right back into testing the rest of... Um, was it uh, Vitalism, right? We, started, we, we were trying to get into Vitalism yesterday at the end. Uh, yes, you were trying to mention Vital. All right, so let's do that again. So, like, I think we finished off with Mana Barrier, right? Sounds familiar. Because we started... Uh, we... Go ahead, Thank yeah. you for confirming that it does in indeed hit everyone and everything in the same raid uh, within the range. Like, it, it says on it all allies like, excluded in caster, and it does indeed do uh, what it says on the tin. I want to make sure, actually, now that we have everybody here in raids. So everybody get together. I want to see, like, the 15 mana shields go off. Oh, and it would work on my own pets, right? It, it does work on your own pets, yeah. But not me. <laughs> Just not you. Right. And it's a pretty good range. 20 meters. Not bad. All right. So we'll see this pretty clearly. Yep. Wait. Only everybody on my left side got hit. Uh... <laughs> Did you notice that? I, I kind of noticed that since I was actually not impacted. Only 10 people were impacted. And when you just did it, it's going to go away here, and then we'll, we'll see in the combat log. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Only 10 people were affected? So this... This is already moving out of the 8-person limit. This is moving into a 10-person limit, which is very similar to Mend, right? I mean, we, we, did, we did have a lot less people last time when we tried this, I think. We only had, like, four of us. So... Uh, they were in a group, yeah. They were in greens, yeah, that's true. Let's try Mend. Mend should be easy, right, because it gives everybody a shield? Nope. Nope. No, nope. Mend works. Of that, this patch. Oh, they did? No, they used... It oh. does currently on live, but uh, that's being removed. Okay. Interesting. How can we test men then? Everybody has to take damage, right? Yeah, I think we'll Wait need more second. people for that. Can you actually take off Bloodlust just in case? Oh. Yeah. But... I, have, I, have, I have no idea if it impacts it at all, but. Uh, for the mana barrier? I was for anything. Oh, we're in a raid together, so it shouldn't. Is Cedar's gonna damage mm -hmm. this all? Um, but you'll have to... Yeah, sure. So Cedar's going to damage all of us. I just think they're... So Cedar's going to do that. And then I'm going to do a mend, and we'll just make sure that it's uh, uh, working for a certain amount of people. Oh, yeah. Everybody put your put your pets on, on non-aggressive. Put, put pets on non-aggressive. Yeah, hey, perfect. Oh, no, we're losing pets. Okay, get back in here. Get back in here. Raid I feel like there better ways to pull that off. There were better ways. That's okay. It doesn't matter. All right, men's going off. Let's see what happens. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Yeah, that follows the same laws. Um, but that's the normal law. We know that men is supposed to work for only ten people. This isn't anything new. How it oh, targets it, people it, might be something. Sorry, go ahead. No, nothing, nothing. I was just confirming. Oh, okay. it, it says right on it, so. If I cast Mana Barrier, are the same people going to be affected? So nobody move. Although it shouldn't be a movement thing. Because that's what we've noticed. Oh no, don't do that! Don't cast spells! Oh no, because that's going to that's gonna destroy the... Ah, um... oh, see, it's already gone, I think. Hold on, hold on. Don't cast spells! Don't cast spells! Okay, good, good, good. Oh jeez, hold on, I'm trying to... I'm trying to get the... Uh... Oh god, I'm trying to get the thing in chat where I cast Mend. Okay, good. The spell went away. No, it didn't. God damn it. You can actually right click, I think, to stop. Uh... God damn it. Guys, stop casting things, please. Alright. There's still buffs and stuff that are taking up the chat. Alright, so this is the list I've got here for people who are hit by Mend. There we go. Perfect. All right, so we'll just do mana barrier here. See if the same people get hit. So is anybody in this list also in that list? Oh my god. Is it even this exact... No, it's not the same order. It shouldn't be the same order. Now let's see here. So Lancet, Bella, Odium, Julie. And in this one, we have... Lava spark, lava spark, lava spark. Okay, and definitely no, no. Oh, yeah, Lancet, Bella, Odium, Julie. Okay, uh, lava spark, lava spark, brown, lava spark, Lion King, Fluffy. I don't see Fluffy though. Lava spark, lava spark, brown reindeer, white elk, which is not in the first one. I don't know why, but it just keeps everything is like really focusing on the pets for some reason. All right, so that's interesting. Does it go by range from the caster? It shouldn't, unless it does now in 4.5. But we did we did verify a long time ago. It's not by range from the caster or positioning. It's actually just by randomness. So what we did a long time ago is we had people line up um, around me, essentially, and I cast Hellspear, and we saw who got hit. Uh, and then people would move around and shift around, but the same people kept getting hit. That was pre-4.5, and something that I do want to test again um, once we have a lot more people, because that's kind of that's one of the more significant sort of tests. So we'll see. We'll get to that. Um, if hopefully we can get more people, maybe it's not going to be today. Maybe some other day. But at least for now, we do know that at very least, mana barrier has a ten person limitation, very similar to that of mend. I want to see then. I mean, healing circle is still just. It's just a circle that's on the ground that heals everybody, right? That's kind of the idea with it. And everybody should be getting the buff, right? Is that uh, how it works? Is it? Well, it, yeah, it does say all targets. Yeah, there you go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Way over the 12 limit that even could possibly exist. So, I'm yeah. actually wondering if it is because of that, because the healing circle, circle is an object rather than a spell cast by you. Compared to say mend and infuse, um, you know it'd be so something along the same t t uh, token as the shadow vortex. You know, is there a limit to how many things that can absorb because mm -hmm. it is an independent object? I haven't tested with bone wall. Maybe bone wall is also the same way. I don't know. I don't know. It depends. Um, if you get healed by the healing circle, does it does it say that I healed you or does it say the healing circle healed you? I think it uh... it just applies the buff like whirlwind. So then you're pretty much healing yourself just with these specific numbers that are generated by me. Could you actually pull it off uh, again here in, in, a, in a second? I have to... What do you mean? I, my, my combat log wasn't configured correctly, so I couldn't actually tell you. Oh, uh, you want me to do it again? Sure. Uh, yeah, just give me a second. Well, you have to actually take damage for that, I believe. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You'd have to take damage in order to do that. Do you have anything that you can do to do damage to yourself? Here, just leave group for a second. Oh, yeah, I can do that, exactly. And then I'll just cast it again. You, you might have to cast uh, Healing Circle yourself, because mine's on cooldown. Uh, no, because it does not heal the caster. It doesn't heal the caster? Well, yes, it does. No, healing it does, Circle does. Excluding oh, the caster. Wait, you're right. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, that's, that's just ridiculous. But there you go. Okay, fine. So the Healing Circle that is an AoE object on the ground doesn't heal the one person that cast it. 
even though they're just walking around there too. Suspicious, I know. Science. All right, that's fine. Is there anything else in Vitalism we need to test? Because we've already tested Skewer. Oh shoot, you know what I want to test? The renewal with the wave from Witchcraft. Oh, this is going to be a good one. Not right. This is, yeah, this, this should be a good combo. So Dehuda's, for those who don't know, Dehuda's Breath now has a combo that it grants renewal to allies in the area of the effect. If this is cast while under the effects of renewal myself. So if I give myself renewal, we'll see quite nicely in the uh, combat log here. And the Dehuda's Breath has a 10 meter range, so this is perfect. You're all in the raid as well, which is also perfect. So I'm just going to cast this on myself. And then I'm just going to cast uh, Dehuda's Breath, right? Nothing else. Should be easy, right? Nope. Should be. All right, what happened? Uh, two, out, two out of three here. Eight. Looks like it was eight targets. So that's the fixed eight amount uh, that we kind of expect with these sort of abilities. Again, we don't know who it's prioritizing here, if it's based on range or whatnot. Um, we could actually do this. So uh, can everyone make a line in front of me? Um, with pets. Good luck. Well, yeah, I'm just going to grab witchcraft myself for the walls here. Sure, yeah. So we're going to make a big line in front of me. It can extend up to 10 meters. Bella, you were actually part of the last, the, the first mass testing initiative that I did, weren't you? Mm -hmm. You were. Lancer, were you there too? I believe so. Oh, yeah, you were both there. Wow. That was a long time ago. Guys, that was like two years ago. Can you believe it? I know, right? Veterans in the name of science. Those are, those are pretty rare. Yeah. Well, honestly, in video games like this, it is. No kidding. All right, so we've got some kind of a line going uh, where the people in the back are just over 10 meters away. So Lancet... I know you're in the back there, but if you want to kind of scoot a little bit closer, we should be okay. All right, so this is this is pretty good. I actually like this. Okay. All right, everybody stop moving. And the big thing is, uh, let's see if folks in the back are hit by this. All right. So, Lance, you're in the back, right? Yep, I'm 9.9 .9 meters. Perfect. I should be the farthest target. Because you got hit first, actually, like on the first round. So, and you didn't leave the, the client location. So here we go. 9.9, .9, yep. Oh wait, what? That's a healing circle. That's, That's not one. what I want. <laughs> uh, I want this one. I did not get hit. I didn't even but... see that. I don't think it pointed at you. Let me try it again. But, uh, both. I, I don't know. Both my uh, both my mountain pet got it. It, it almost looked like it went sideways. So let me try that again, just to make sure I'm hitting you guys and not off to the side very slightly. All right, you know, I'm, I'm gonna move up to uh, nine or nine meters. Nine nine meters. meters. All right, no I'm problem. To like right behind me. No, I'm, I'm just gonna be right here until we're, we're testing the range as well. Yep. Well, we're gonna see if it affects people within range. So uh, like in, in the order of location. So here we go. Nope, I got hit. So. Okay. So the people who got hit there uh, were Lancet, Cedar, Bella, Odium, and Julie May, Angry Elk, White Elk, and Lava Spark. Um, oddly enough, Odium oh, did get hit, and so did Julie May. Was anybody here not hit by it? I think all of the players actually got hit. So we're really looking at the mounts. See, that's where this kind of falls off, and it's not really uh, the the best test, just because here's the list of people. And that is one, two, th well, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, see, that's all the people. But we don't know what pets. See, that's that's kind of why we definitely need more people for that kind of testing, because um, it's hard to know what was what was hit, what was not. Um, my brown reindeer wasn't hit, so I mean, if there's any sort of uh, like, let me make sure that my own pets are, are getting hit or not. Let's see. Yeah, we can try that again, Cedar. I think you're right about that with um, Odium's pets not getting hit. Even my pets weren't hit by it. Yeah, oddly enough, my pets weren't hit by that. Odium, were, you pet, were your pets hit by that? I was actually targeting Fluffy and it wasn't. So his pets aren't getting hit. But then again, it's prioritizing players first and then moving on to mounts, right? And it's, I mean, it's hitting the mounts in the back. So it's, um, 
that seems either it's random or it's just uh, doing it based on client side or something of that sort. You know, I just had an interesting uh, moment there. It seems mm -hmm. uh, if you could uh, at, at the next convenient time uh, do the same test, but not for uh, testing on your end. I need to test on my end to see if I can literally bounce a re someone else's renewal onto someone else. Uh, let's see if, if what do you remember that? I mean, yeah, you can do it right now. We're gonna go into Songcraft next, though. If you wanted to wait for that. Right, but it's it it looks it looked like initially that you can't. Like I just picked for Dehuda's breath. So mm -hmm. in theory, if you could put renewal on yourself, and then splash it on me. Okay. If I can splash it onto other people or not. Oh, I see. Okay, so come over here then yeah. around me, and I'll face okay. you. That's okay. a good point. <laughs> That's weird but it's a good point because it's totally well, it's, different it's, it's not that it's weird it's it's something you can actually think of like in a raid v raid scenario a witchcraft player everywhere but hierophants are very popular now yeah you ready yeah go ahead all right you got okay it. so i got it and no it does it, it cannot be no not to a single person huh but you do so... have renewal on you yeah, I, I have your renewal on me, uh, and, specifically. And you have vitalism. Correct. Do you have renewal actually spec on your, like, right now? Yeah, I, I do. But you can't transfer it, even though it's already been transferred. Okay, so now, all right, now here's, that's one. Uh, so I guess you cannot, uh, yeah, you can't transfer a second-hand renewal, I guess. Let's try it again. Who, who does, so I'm going to okay. hit you again. You ready? Okay. Yep. Allies in the area. What if I just cast renewal on you, directly you? Okay, go uh, ahead. Okay. It didn't work. Huh. So, Nobody... it'll only work if you cast Renewal on yourself, and I... then you use the Hootas. Huh. Okay, you know what? Yeah, let, let, me, uh, let me do that. I just overlapped. Oh. There's oh, two. you can stack Renewals. Uh... All right. Oh, is that so possible? If I stack mine... Yeah. yeah, and then it works for... Then it works for other people. So it does have to be the caster's renewal, and it will identify that in particular. Hold on, I can't stack renewal on myself. No, uh, other other sources can stack renewal. So if we had like five people with vitalism, you can have five different renewals on the same person. Can we both use it on Cedar, who's saying words that I need to read? Huh? Yeah, uh, Cedar sure. over here. Yeah. All right, so let's yeah. go ahead and press renewal on him. Yeah, see? Okay, now I'm gonna put it on myself and give him a third one. Uh, that didn't work. Uh, no. Or yeah, see, he's no. not getting another one from that. Uh, that's can you that's weird. It it doesn't even overlap or anything. Uh, Cedar's so saying, right, right. can Game Pro renewal then Lancet hits the renewal off of him? Game Pro does the renewal and Lancet does wave. But what does that mean? Uh, does the renewal does the stack? I don't know about yes, that. Uh, yes, uh, they do stack because they are two different spells. They they are not guaranteed to be triggered by, at the same time, though. Hmm. Okay, so we know this essentially... We kind of already knew this for anybody that's done sort of research like this in the past, but any buffs that, that's applied to you actually is attributed to the person that applied it to you. So all the buffs, like in the code and how it's actually marked on your character, uh, they do have a reference to the player that they came from. There's a lot of different things in the game that use it. I can't think of anything in my head right now besides Renewal, clearly. Um, oh, obviously Blessing does that, right? Wait, what? Blessing, oh, when you... Oh, yeah, the Mirror Light? Uh, yeah, Mirror Light, right, yeah, when you bless yeah, it somebody. Does... Yeah, however, that does not stack, as an example. So, right. for example, if you are... Uh, you see your local cleric trying to sure. Holy Bolt something and then get health, and then you put your Mirror Light on them, it's going to recognize that it's not the caster's Mirror Light and kind of piss them off. If you cast Resurgence on somebody, and then you take away your healing weapon, does it suddenly stop healing them for as much? Uh, yes. It is dynamic in that respect. Oh, then it's I definitely linked it to the characters. Do you have it a... is like that on live as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, then that's exactly what it is. So yeah, for anybody that didn't know, that's that's kind of... I believe that should be common knowledge for anybody that's really played with it for any regard. But there you go. I mean, uh, you know, not everybody knows everything, so it's still useful to, to keep in mind. Um, so yeah, Resurgence, does that stack as well? I believe it does, right, from different players? If two different people cast Resurgence on one person, yes. so let's both use it on Cedar here. Uh, I don't... I, I've definitely seen it before. Yeah, that, that's not a problem. The yep. only possible conflict I've heard is when there is uh, people with and then people without the Obsidian version 2 
uh, club mm -hmm. that extends your resurgence. I have heard that it was a issue at one point. I don't know if it was fixed. Uh, where if someone put in a longer duration resurgence, it would prevent others from, you know, but I don't oh. know if that's still a thing or not. I, well, I do not know. I have not made the healer in some time. I mean, you know, Lancet, there's another thing you could do with resurgence. If you have ten people in your group, and one of you, and like all nine of you guys hate this one other guy, and all of you have vitalism, you could really screw over that one person by everybody casting Resurgence on him and killing off all of his other buffs because there's a maximum of 30. <laughs> so it'll it'll remove all of the like the previous buffs because there's, you know, the, the max of 30 buffs that you can stack in a player. So you could be a you could be a jerk, I guess, to your allies in some sense. Oh, but who would do that? Nobody what would do that. Would a healer have to, <laughs> Nobody uh, would ever do that. Angrily. Let alone ten healers all hating that one guy over there <laughs> who just keeps asking for healing all the time. Um, all right, well, that's fine. All right, so I, I think we've seen here. Is there anything else you guys want to test? Uh, Cedar saying flame fervent stacks as well, then, I guess. Does the flame fervent stack as well, Lancet? Uh, uh, I mean, it makes sense. I don't see why it wouldn't. Let's Actually, do it. I think it might on live, to be honest, but okay, pick a target. It might, yeah. I, I have almost no doubt that if it does here, it'll do it on live. Let's try it, yeah. Yeah, try up is saying that it does stack in chat. I was all not right. aware of that. What? So let's do it on him, on a Cedar right. here. Flame Fervent Healing. Ha, look at that, it's pretty cool. I mean, I believe you, Triop, I believe you guys that it's, that's the case. I just like seeing these things in my own. I mean, that's awesome. Obviously mine is significantly less and again, tied to me. Um, I mean, but it, it was it a major will... nerf for 4.5 apparently. Was was Flame Healing nerf 4.5? Uh, I did, I, to my knowledge, most coefficients, most healing coefficients were drastically lowered. Uh, for example, on live, it is, uh, antithesis, for example, is, I think, 440-ish, uh, coefficient, and here it is 300. So, I haven't seen that. healers are gonna have a harder time. I'm using Quake, that's why. Yeah, you're, that's even lower. That's even lower, yeah. Okay, I gotcha. Oh, it depends on what antithesis, life antithesis is 300. Nope. The regular Life. one is 200. Oh, no, yeah, right. regular one is 300 as well. You're right. Yep. Life's uh, only difference is that you cannot target enemies, and it has a slightly longer range to compensate. Yeah. So you can heal longer. And and like Triop is saying in chat, in, in Twitch, I mean, honestly, he's playing Ranger currently, and he's going to be mm -hmm. feeling it crazy because, you know, the self-heals playing Ranger is just severely reduced in general. Um, you're playing Argent, you know, Lancet. How is this going to affect you? Uh, it is going to cripple me for also other reasons. For example, Antithesis no longer has a combo with um, uh, with Spell Shield in order to create uh, instant Antithesis. There is no more of those. Um, there's the cooldown reductions, there's the healing increases, combos, but there is no more instant Antithesis, which means uh, hybrid, mobile hybrids will be forced to use either Skewers, Fervent Healing, or I guess Resurgence. Um, all other forms are uh, cast time based, such as renewal, which is now basically forced. Which you now have to live around, and that's not an easy thing yeah. to do, of course. Uh, I'm I'm not really happy with that at all, but it's uh, gonna well, have to adapt. What about so just fervent healing? Fervent healing, just the the percentages were reduced. That was kind of the idea, right? Um, I am not a hundred. I actually, uh, I think it is, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. The lightning one. Probably. All of them actually have increased healing on players that are affected by renewal. Was that also in the on live? Uh, no. Uh, it's, to my uh, knowledge, that is just like freshly added, possibly that's a, to comp unquote, compensate for the reduced base. Yeah, that's a pretty big... That's a 55% increase in the healing that you're giving yourself with Fervent, or somebody else for that matter. Yeah, the other tricky part, however, that the, how they did nerf Fervent is... Um, I, I would say actually very painful, and does give healers a very scary part is... Uh, well, a, a fear, rather. Not... Terror, is that uh, Fervent now has a set 30 second cooldown, whereas currently on live it is 10 seconds and it ramps up with every heart you cast. Um, but now it's 30 seconds and mm -hmm. the cooldown is only reduced if you are throwing the hearts on someone else. So if, say, I were to oh. heal myself in a 1v1 and I only get two hearts off, normally that would put me in like what a uh, like 12 second cooldown. Uh, here it would put, throw it on 30 seconds. 
and locked me out completely. Ah. They probably were like stunned halfway. So. I see. Yeah, it it does make basically looks like wow. the entire patch is aimed at. Uh, <laughs> I didn't read big, that. Big little finger to healers. Yeah, well, healers that are self healing. They really want raids to happen, and they All really right, want I guess to only healers. Healer survivability. How about that? Yeah. That's, I mean, you can read this on the screen also, uh, anybody that doesn't have vitalism. It even says in Fervent Healing that cooldown is decreased by two seconds each time you use the skill to heal someone other than yourself. I mean, that's crazy. It literally says it in plain writing. Uh, it's crazy. Um, I'm Dizzle. How do I make the map so small? Oh, I'm just playing in, uh, in 4K, so the map's going to, all the UI is very small. Uh, sorry, just a quick question that was on the, the stream. Uh, Cedar, Cedar, you're saying? So it's the cooldown, not the cast time. Yeah, I guess so. Well, for fervent healing, yeah, for the for the non-flame version, right? Yeah. Oh, the cooldown on fervent healing is still thirty seconds. Oh, that's antithesis you're talking about. Ah, okay. I see. Okay, I got gotcha. you. All right, is there anything else we want to test in Vitalism before we move on to the next one? Um, the only thing I could think of would be to maybe test the... Uh, no, no, we, we, we tested the Revive thing off screen, so... I still want to do it if we need to. Uh, we can test the Revive um, thing now, but we don't have enough reds for that. And that might be something enough. we need to pull off, put off. So like, I'll make note to myself that you know, whenever we do a mass testing later on, after we get through all the skill sets, we'll go back and right, we'll then. do things like that. Um, but I'll write it down as a note of, of stuff we need to test. Um, All right. Uh, besides that, I think we've already covered everything, then. Okay, good. So let's move on, then, to the fun one. I know a lot of people were looking at Songcraft for a lot of the AoE things, and it's a big deal. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, are there any other combos with Songcraft that are AoE that we should also test out that anybody just knows off the bat? I actually don't think there are at all. I... I also don't think so. I mean, the only possible thing that with Suncraft is the um, charm effect, and as far as quote-unquote AoEs go, that would be regarding the right. uh, ancestrals with it. So Such here's what I'll do. It's just the stone healing him, which bounces off people and charms them all. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, we'll have to look at that too. Well, we'll see how we can do that. But for now, um, let's go ahead and do this. So uh, everybody come over to me. We're going to be doing a quick check of delay time. So um, when the timer when the timer hits zero, jump. Okay, very simple. Uh, despawn pets and mounts, please. All right, it'll be a super quick thing. Here we go. All right, ah, mine are out, but that's because I don't know where those buttons are. So here we go. Perfect. Ah, see, that's really good. So even people in EU all jump at the same time, at least on my screen, and that's perfect. It's always going to be delayed on your own screens uh, between other people, but on my screen, you can all see it's very synchronized. So that's actually perfect. All right. Here's what we're going to do then. Um, uh, take out mounts and pets again, and we'll get together into one spot. Uh, let me go ahead and craft... Let me, let me actually grab uh, Occultism, because uh, I absolutely love that move. <laughs> I'm going to be selfish, because that freaking move is so cool and useful. Uh, just to gather people up here. I, for one, miss telekinesis. I know, a lot of people do, and I and I understand. There's a lot of people practice with it, it makes perfect sense. But Oh, I like how your pet just like flew out there. Both of yours did. All right. So we're going to test... Testing dissonance. See if affected. All right. Oh, I have to actually have a target for this, don't I? I have to have a uh, target wait, for now. which? For dissonance. For the new dissonance. Yeah. Uh, there oh, we go. It's, it's okay. Oh wait, no. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm thinking of. Oh yeah, it's only one target now. It's target based, so it's. So it's it basically undergone the same treatment as the, um, what should we call it, the, the Battle Rage Swordfall? Uh, Abyssal? Yeah, Swordfall. Except it just doesn't do, no, no, no it, just, it just doesn't do AoE anymore. 
Wait, what? It, yeah. It's just single target? Yeah, it's thing? just single target. <laughs> I oh. didn't know that, actually. This is why everybody's I'm... like, man. Okay. All right, um... never mind. Yeah, never mind on that one. Wow, that sucks. That's actually, actually a single it's, it's target. Kind of, I actually think it's kind of powerful. It's powerful, sure, against one target. But well, I, I, mean... I think most people would have rather preferred the old dissonance just so that they could help disable you know, several people. Well, um, keeping in mind the, the Songcraft Abyssal skill right. that uh, your dissonance reduces or uh, cuts 30% of max health on its target, I, I think people would be glad that suddenly clerics can't 1v raid people. I, I mean, that's true, you're right. But, I mean, obviously, they did a lot of these balance changes to kind of um, balance the game. You know, it's, it's essentially a, a totally new game. It really is, in the way that it's played, in the way that it, how everything is used. Um, Odium is talking about using pain, or Odium is testing what Cedar was talking about. Uh, using painful recharge with mend. And it's hard for me to understand what's going on right now, <laughs> quite honestly. Basically, the uh, mend has an additional combo with the pain harvest, and as long as you have pain harvest active, your mend does not have a uh, cooldown. Oh my so, god. So this that is he's thing. proving it by just spamming men with it. What is painful harvest? Because that's something new as well, right? Uh, it's it's they changed the um, they changed urgency so that instead of a static um, ah. cooldown reduction on abyssal skills, it's a dynamic reduction on uh, abyssal cooldowns for Got it. every time you get crit. Understood. And you know, since crit is the meta, it's, uh, it could could have its uses if you live long enough. Well, with that, it's pretty useful too, but it, it, just in general, like as you. But I mean, that's a that's a lot of the reasons why uh, mixing healer with occultism is a big thing. But occultism now is like be able to be mixed with everything, and so is songcraft, which is good, because these are usually lesser played classes unless you're playing specific builds, right? Except now they're so good, everybody's going to use them. So it's kind of like I don't know whether or not that's counterproductive. Um, before it was kind of aromancy, right? Everybody was taking that. All right, so dissonance is no go for that. Uh, we know that performance skills do affect everybody, um, regardless of how many people. Of course, I'm not in the raid right now, so I can't test that. Is there anything aggressive that I can test in Songcraft without being in the raid? Okay. Aggressive. Tribe is right. It's balanced with Excel. They do fine art with sledgehammers. They kind of did. They really just tore apart the entire system and rebuilt it up from scratch. I mean, obviously, they're using a lot of the same skills, but the idea of how different gameplay is really does feel like that. It's hard to say whether or not it worked. I, from what I understand, Korea's a little happier about it, but, I, I mean, there's still ways to abuse it, and hopefully they continue to do balance changes that are aggressive. I mean, you have to be as aggressive with balance changes if you're going to do these kind of aggressive things at all. Um, so, yeah, we'll see. Uh, I can test out Sonic Wave to see if that affects all of you guys, so here we go. Here we go. Going to cast it now. It's got a really good window, so it should be pretty easy. I actually have to spec it. Bam! Oh my god. Wow, that is that is insanely effective. And there you go. There's a three out of threes, two out of twos. Everybody got affected by that. Oh my god. That is so crazy. Dude, Sonic Wave is insane. New raid PvP tool confirmed. It is. I mean, it's just in general. It's incredible. This is why everybody wants Songcraft in Raid vs. Raid. This is why everybody wants Occultism in Raid vs. Raid, is because they're such powerful Raid vs. Raid tools with just that alone. Um, so you know, it was... I don't think that would be mildly terrifying. Shadow Vortex plus uh, Sonic Wave would be quite a lethal combo. I mean, you, you have to get stuck in the Shadow Vortex, because there's so many ways to get out of it still, you know? Any yeah. teleport will get you out. No problem. I want to see people play Blade Dancer, uh, Odin. Honestly, it's... It's a really underplayed class right now, and it's really, really hard to play and hard to master, but there's so much power to it. There's so many uh, possibilities. Um, all right, so let's do the healing him thing that you want to test, Lance. We can, we can do without a whole bunch of people, so that shouldn't be too much of an issue. We can test that later on. Oh, I, I don't think there's much to test regarding it to begin with anyways. I mean, we don't know who it's gets... Pretty, it's pretty self-explanatory. Is it really random, though, or does it hit people that are just closest to the first targets or whatever? 
Um, okay, no, all right, fair enough. That That's the question. Knows we're testing. Yeah, I think to we my, tested that. To my that. knowledge, it is, it is based off of radius from the initial target, though. AoE bubble into Sonic Wave would work, yeah. But it doesn't matter. See, here's the thing, Cedar. Everybody's in a bubble, right? So you can use Sonic Wave, but, I mean, it's affecting them even though they can't do anything anyways. So unless you're planning on popping the bubble, it's not the craziest thing. So, you know, one or two seconds of Sonic Wave are going to be essentially useless. I mean, Shrug it off breaks you out of bubbles now, and Ormancy's still going to be pretty popular. Um, for people who are defense, but I think most people will be switching over. I mean, we'll see. We don't know what the meta is, right? We have no idea. So maybe, maybe that's the case. You're right. Um, okay. So I can't really charm everybody because the charming doesn't really work like that unless there's some pet or something that charms everybody within a radius. I mean, the thing I just told you kind of did that. Oh, which one? The, this? The, the, so the ancestral for, for healing him. Oh, God damn it! I don't have the... Oh, the Ancestral for healing him. I thought that only bounces yes. between only a few people, though, up to eight. Um, let me double check here. Yeah, it's... Um, this effect can travel to another two enemies and continue to be done three times. Two times three plus one, uh, so seven people. That's really what it is. I mean, I can try to charm as many of you as I can. By all means, let's do it and see what happens. Yeah, just hit it. Why yeah. not? Let's do just, it. Just to say you did. Yeah. Well, I can see. Maybe we'll find out something interesting. You never know until you do it. So here we go. Uh, let's give this a go and send out a charm. Oh, I have to actually go to the skills. Here we go. Oh, no. It should just hit only all the players because it does explicitly say excluding pets on it. Oh, my God. Dude, a lot of people got hit there. Mostly Lancet a lot of times. Yeah, it did hit me several times, and Odium was actually never hit at all. All right, so now you guys should be getting slowed. Unpleasant sensation. Uh, the, the the charm lasts for a very short time, so you should be playing the music before, uh, or because you can actually use the healing him during the song. Oh, okay. I thought the charm lasts for like thirty seconds. No. Oh, eight seconds. That's normal charm. All right. Yeah. This. Oh my god, that's so cool though. I actually really like how that works. All right. So let's look at the um, the combat log here. You want to help me with the combat log? Uh, I mean. I didn't look at the combat log. I could just say from looking at the raid frames, the four of us, Lancet, Bella Sophia, Citri, and Julie May were hit. Odium was still not touched. I don't and think he got I, charmed. To my knowledge, yeah, and to my knowledge, none of the pets should have been impacted at all. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, That's good to know. Specifics. It's PvP only, essentially. Yes. Okay. All right. Well, that's good to know. Uh, in general, yeah, it just must have not hit uh, Odium in that well, sense. It, it could also be useful in, you know, PvE if you're dealing with uh, trash mobs like a sea on a rift or something. Uh, but tra but if if you use charm on a mob, yeah, it should work, right? The the negative effects. So it's interesting that it doesn't work on pets. Hmm. That is actually very interesting. No, wait, it was. It does work on pets, dude. Lion King was struck um, by unpleasant sensation. Hmm. So, as far as I'm aware, yeah, it affects pets too. Oh god. If it does, then that's that's uh, that's a typo in the text. Then. Oh, does it say it doesn't? Wait, what? Yeah. Plays see. a beguiling song. The charm is an enemy for eight seconds. Make them more susceptible. Blah 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 blah. blah. Can travel to to another two enemies within ten meters, excluding, excluding pets. pets. So, oh, but I was targeting Lion King. That's why it got hit. Oh well. That's why. Derp. Okay, this makes perfect sense. So everything is you the know, way that it target, should be, as far as I'm aware. Just, just, just target a player first. I'm actually curious. Sure. Let's target me or yep. anyone else. Here we go. I just love how this ability works. It's so cool. Hmm. All right, I'm, I'm still weirded out why Odium is just not getting hit by that at Odium, all. Odium, man, you're not getting hit by any ability. Something's up. <laughs> it is actually interesting. I can target him specifically and see if somebody else doesn't get it anymore. You know what? Do that. All right, so let's target Odium. It was hard enough for me to, to tab through, not tab, but to, to get through to him, too. Here we go. Well, Odium is definitely hit this time. Oh, everyone was impacted this time. Okay. Maybe because he's standing in the back? I'm not really sure. But we don't know. Yeah, it's, it could be random. It might not be. Okay, let's try targeting you again. Or, or Cedar, who I was doing before okay. uh, when uh, Odium wasn't hit. So this, this time I'm actually going to stand in the back and see what happens. Okay, sure. Uh, yeah, it says within 10 meters, so you're within 10 meters for sure. Here we go. Oh, oh yeah, I was hit. 
Odium wasn't. <laughs> Odium actually wasn't hit that time, though. And that's Invictus out of Elin. Yeah, that's really weird. Invictus, what's going on, man? Why is your character, um... That's so strange. Stop covering your ears. He's immune. That is very strange. See, this is the kind of things, when you have 50 people, you can test that specific scenario, no problem. Um, all right, so Cedar's got to go here. All right, thanks for helping, man. Hopefully you can come back uh, another time and help us out again, if you've got more time. Uh, again, anybody who's watching, if you guys are on the public test server, feel free to hop down and help us out with testing. It doesn't matter whether you're west or east or whatever, uh, but we do need more people to, to do these kind of tests for the exact reason of, uh, you know, there's a lot of things that are sort of hiding within game mechanics that we're trying to unveil here. We had a lot more people yesterday. I know we, we're doing this two days in a row, which may have been a mistake because it's hard to get people out there for two days in a row like that, especially on a Friday. But, you know, we're trying. We'll see what we can do. Hopefully we get more people over time. But there's still tons and tons of things to test. So is there anything else in Songcraft at this point uh, that we need to look at? Uh, give me a brief second. I don't think so. I don't have the Abyssal skill tree. I would love yeah. to see you know, 20 goats walking around, but I don't think we're going to ever have that ability to do that. Um, because Songcraft still has that that revive thing, right? The revive song? Yes. Okay. Uh, yes. Okay. The revive being the, the, the polymorph resonance, yes. Okay. Um, yeah, there's not really much that can really be tested, much less for mass testing. I mean, the next best thing would be having, like, a double time race where you just see how many people can abuse the Songcraft move speed. Well, that'll be... Oh, man. I can't wait to get my Lord of the Dance uh, thing and, and do it with that. But all right. Let's go ahead and move on then to Witchcraft. Okay. Wow, yeah, there wasn't that much in Songcraft as I thought there might be. Yep. Um, okay. Oh, I already have Witchcraft. So, well, there's some good things in Witchcraft for sure. There's a ton of stuff. So, uh, testing Witchcraft now. Get ready to watch for debuffs. Here we go. So we're all going to pack up into a nice small group here. And we'll just start oh, from the top. Not again. Um, of course, the top in reality is Earthen Grip, because Earthen Grip casts on everything within a location if you use that ancestral ability. Where'd you go? Why did you just pop out of there? I wanted to be special. Oh, okay. That's fine then. Uh, here we go. Let's switch that over to the Quake, right? That is within 8 meters. So let's see how many people are affected by this. I expect 8. Uh, let's just see if that's true. I, I, I don't think you used the right one. I mean, I I set it to Quake, did I not? I. Oh, it didn't you? set it to Quake. That's weird. <laughs> oh, I didn't. Okay, because it didn't unspec the other thing for some reason. I thought that oh, I unspec this, but I must press cancel or something. All right, no problem. That's on a. That's no issue whatsoever. Here we go. Alrighty. Here we go. Oh no, that's within eight meters of me. Uh. Oh, that was weird. It still hit you guys, but. Okay, one out of two. So I think that was within eight meters of me. Yeah, calls forth. Uh, yeah, okay. It's it is within eight meters of me. Okay, good to know as well. Yeah, though, that lasts a long time. All right, we're going to try that again. Trying again. Here we go. I want to clear... Oh, that's fine. Okay, here we go. That is a freaking lot of mud hands. Oh, man. Reminder that snares, things like this one, um, do, uh, you know, do function as all the other ones, even if it is, you know, mud hand and special. Which means, uh, if your character is affected by Mudhand, you cannot turn, not even in place. So, they can leisurely just walk up to your behind and have their way with it. And in this case, it's a pretty effective spell. That hit everyone. I was expecting an eight-person limit. And of note, it, uh, you know, it affects pets for the full duration, you know, unlike when it says cut in half for PvP. It does not, uh count for that for pets because i noticed all the players are getting out you know all the pets still had plenty left it hit 11 people yeah that's um interesting i mean it might be limited to 12 and we don't have enough people to test that right now um for that reason it might be worth noting 
to try it again with 12 or more people, but still very interesting. Um, definitely not an eight limit or a, a 10 limit. All right, let's go ahead and try, oh dude, the freaking mirror warp with resurgence. I wanna see if you guys all get affected by, by resurgence like that. It's fine, it is resurgence, not, um, not the other one, not, not the renewal. One. Yeah, I, I know I know people can get re resurgence and renewal mixed together. Oh. <laughs> I don't know enough about both, so to me it's all the same. Uh, let's go ahead. Can you add me back into the uh, group? Sure. All yeah. right. So let me go ahead and try this. Can you guys try to get in the line? Um, I don't, I'm not sure how to do that with the pets. Uh, let me try to get in a line here. You guys are already almost in a line, but uh, we'll see if this works. Like, so Bella, Lance, and Odium. I don't know how you're gonna get your pets out there, but oh, I was I was saying we would form a line this way. Like, oh, this okay. Way. I mean that's a that's a pretty good line actually. Yeah. All right, nice. Now here we go. Let's see what happens. All right, mirror warp. I want to go to the right. Wait, don't get the buff yours. Oh, did I no. do that? <laughs> okay, okay. I thought that I already hit it on me. I forgot that it went off. It's only after ten seconds it goes away. Wow. Okay. See, these are things. I'm not a. I'm not a healer. These don't come to my head instantly. Um, all right. So that's fine. It even. It, funny enough, it actually glows on mirror warp to let you know there's a combo there. Which is pretty cool. Mass resurgence. I guess it stacks too, right? All right. Here we go. Wait. Did you guys? Oh, you guys all got it. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Three that's. To three. That's very unsatisfying. <laughs> Like, you don't know that it happens. Yeah, there is no visual indication. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven people. So, as far as I'm aware, it hits everyone. It might be limited to twelve, but it's very unlikely. Since mm -hmm. the only thing that's ever limited by twelve is nothing. The only thing that's ever limited by ten is those two skills that we know about from Vitalism, but I've never seen a twelve limit. Even though they've said there's one ability that does do it after 4.0. I feel like we should attempt to test the same thing as the um, as the renewal splash, uh, in which you know I can throw a um, uh, resurgence on hop you and, and then you attempt. To... You okay. can keep talking. Just hop back and fly. Yep. All right. So I, I'm gonna throw the resur my resurgence on you and then see if you carry that. Okay, we can do that. I'm surprised that nobody got hit there though. Yeah, I'm kind of wondering what's up with that. Uh, yeah, my resurgence just ended. So why didn't that one work? Uh, okay, that was a little weird. Move my pets a little bit closer here, but, uh... In general, that should have worked. Alright, let's try it again. Does it only work with the right mirror warp? Okay, that time you guys uh, got all affected, right? That works, right? yep. Uh, yep. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so we're good, we're good, we're good. Wait, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Last 7, Last time eight. only I got it. This time me and both of my pets got it. All right. That's 13 targets, actually, in the combat log. So we're good. That definitely affects everybody that's in the location. That's a little weirder, because you're never going to have more than, like, three people, really. But okay, there you go. That, now we know. Now we know how that works. Uh, all right, so all right. yeah, go ahead, Lancet. Hit me with resurgence, okay. and uh, I'll do it again. We'll see what happens. Go for it carry it. Okay, I swear it's only the left. It's only the right side. It's only the right mirror warp. I think it's only the right mirror warp. I mean, it's the second let's, time. Let's, let's 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 give that another shot. <laughs> yeah. Just tell me when it's ready. Unless unless sorry unless it's just because it was your resurgence and not mine. Yeah. That makes more sense. <laughs> All right, give me a second or five seconds, and we'll see. Um, Alright, cast it on me. That's perfect. And here we go. Yeah, so I think it's just because it's your resurgence. Okay, so it's the same thing. It will not carry... Uh, hmm. Yeah, it won't carry somebody else's buffs. So let's do it again, because when I did to the left last time, the other time, when I did cast it on myself, it didn't work. So we're going to try mm -hmm. one more time to see if that's actually a bug or not. Um, and then I think we'll leave Mirror Warp alone. <laughs> But that is a skill in witchcraft, so it's a good thing we tested it. Cast it on myself. Gonna go to the left. Uh, that didn't work. 
Is it actually bugged where you can only right, teleport you know to the right? Yeah, you do it. You do it. Uh, that time it worked. It. Wait, did you go to the left or the right? Uh, the left, because I'm over here. Huh? So why didn't it work for me? I'm oh. actually. I'm, you know, I I actually have an I idea as to why. Um, I'm wondering if it doesn't. Like, it wasn't doing it because you were just a little bit too far forward, and it was considering people behind you instead of in front. Like mm. that? Yeah, that's how it works. works. It worked in my pets and whatnot. Maybe. Okay. So, <laughs> like, okay, for, can like, you do for, it if okay, you're... Let's, let's see. Like, if, if I were to do it, like, here... Yeah, we gotta see the radius yeah. or whatever. Try it. Yeah. So, you, you have to be precise. Uh, like, super precise. Jeez. All right. Okay, so let's do this then. Okay, can we... Uh, I'll just do it this way. So, um... Oh, man, how am I going to test this properly? Get my pets out of here. So I'm going to go, f like, the, the center here, horizontally, across from this way. And we're going to see if the pets on the outer sides are affected. So, like, uh, same line. Like we'll in front of you or something like that. Yeah, we're going to see exactly who is affected. We'll, we'll try. So we'll try this and see how this goes. As far as I'm aware, only these couple of pets... And uh, and Bella might be affected, and also maybe Julie May. I think that's how I'm gonna go. I'm gonna definitely affect you guys, and then we're gonna see if it affects anybody else from there. Here we go. All right. The only people who gained a buff there. Oh, a lot of people gained a buff there, dude. Uh, it was it was because that's a very dense pack area. It is, yeah, that's true. But it looks like everybody in the front did. Even even. Oh. Even Odium? Even Godiva. Just... Oh no, Godiva, Godiva, Godiva Chocolate? Godiva didn't get affected by that. Um, but Lion King did. And Odium didn't. Odium got it too. But Odium's pet didn't. It was just out of there. So this is the range, actually. It's from Odium, pretty much, to where Lancet's angry elk was. It's like this. This is this is the range from there to there. If you guys can visualize that. That looks like a it's like a, what two meter range. It's about a three meter range, yeah. yeah. Standing at odium space from your pet, Lancet from Angry mm -hmm. Elk. It's about three meters. I think it's better to visualize that way if you know that there's an actual value associated with it. Interesting. Two point eight meters from odium's position. So it's about around around that. Maybe I'll even ask Quilladon to add that to the mirror warp, saying that anybody within a a three meter it's not a diameter it's a it's the, the geography term that i learned in in college or something in high school <laughs> i don't know if that's not so oh whatever it doesn't matter anyways yeah, maybe i'll ask him to add something about that because that, that's important it helps people visualize what they're doing even though it's kind of an obscure thing for people to actually use um okay <laughs> good to know uh let's go ahead and move on and do ah my favorite one everybody get together for a bubble trap the nice mm. aoe bubble traps so everybody try to get together here i'm gonna i'm gonna leave the party and let my my dudes go there we go so is is this when you do the, the shadow and then uh, drop a bubble in it like, yes that's what like i'm gonna do stuff. yeah I'm gonna do a shadow and drop a bubble in it exactly just like that. Let me get rid of some. I'm actually other kind of worried skills. to see how that might turn out if you com did combine them. I forgot there's a reset button on ancestral abilities, like the the reset button on the bottom right, <laughs> to reset all. I forgot that was a thing. It's mist, right? Yep. Uh, I believe so. So it's within four meters. So I definitely have to use shadow vortex to get all you guys. So here we go, Shadow Vortex down. Bubble down. Oh my god. Oh, that is wonderful. Everybody, it's so easy to see that it works. Now, of course, you guys should have immunity to it, and you do. You only gain it for a split second, enough time for you to get out of there. Otherwise, it just lasts forever. It's just gonna be there. However, interestingly, the that uh, immunity can pretty much kind of be canceled out with the uh, with the shadow vortex, at least for the initial one and so forth. True, in a way. If you have a couple people doing it, it works really well too. Um, not bad. Pretty good to know. I was actually really cool. I like that. That was a lot of fun. All right, is there anything else we want to test? I think that kind of tells us everything we need to know about bubble trap. Uh, anything else we need to test? With bubble trap. 
Because oh, we're going to move okay. on. There's tons of stuff to test in witchcraft. Everything. No, I, I think we're good on that. All right. Uh, just, just, uh, all right, good. So let's go ahead and do stillness. That's an easy one. See if affected by stillness. Here we go. And I have a nice one that also slows you guys because I have that instrument. But it's within Wait, is there, 10 is there a range? Wait, but it has a 20 meter range, so I think you drop it? Oh, oh, you're right. It's true, yeah. actually. It's changed now. Yeah. I have to cast it. Yep. Whoa. Uh, uh, you're not bloodlusted. I'm not, but it still missed two of you. How did that happen? <laughs> Even though I wasn't bloodlusted, it still showed up in chat as GamePro attacked Godiva using stillness, missed. And I attacked Lava Spark using stillness, missed. So even though I'm not trying to kill you guys without bloodlust, it just shows up in chat as a miss. Awkward. That is really awkward. That is very strange. Um, okay, expect a couple misses though because of accuracy then. So here we go. Let's try it again. Okay, so there's a slow, there's the stillness. Uh, how many people were affected there? Three, two, so that's five so far. Uh, and then if I count here, what have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh. oh, it's ten plus the one miss, so we're good, yeah. It definitely affects at least eleven targets, so it's pretty reliable in affecting everybody. Now, can I just say that that ability looks really cool? The new stillness. Yeah, it definitely had a nice little blood dome type of uh, visual. It's a blood dome, as Lancet says. It is a blood dome. <laughs> let's, see, let's just see it again here. It's like the weirdest blood dome. It, it's like, it's not even over your heads. It's just, it's like soaks into the ground. It doesn't even look right. It's like the, the, the effect is wrong. But okay, good enough. Uh, anything else we need to test with stillness in this regard? No, it doesn't combo with anything. It does if it slows. But Whirlwind Slash has a maximum of eight targets as well, so. Um, I, I, we can retest that. We have to get that. We have to retest it when we get to Battle Rage, but we'll get there. Um, okay, cool. So, Folk of Concussion. Uh, we can test a Hooda's Breath and see if it affects everybody. It should be pretty easy to do. So, let's do that. Let's see if I can push you guys all out of here. Oh, God. One of you guys already got pushed out. Oh, wow. Uh, I guess so. I guess so, but that only hit a certain amount of people. One, two, oh, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait. Yeah, so that that still hits a maximum of eight people. Um, do you want to save your allies by using, or save your enemies by doing that? Probably not. Um, but, uh, yeah, don't do Huda's Breath. <laughs> if you're casting your AoE spells, Witchcraft folks, don't do Huda's Breath, the Shadow Vortex, because it'll just make your enemies free again. Um, but unless they're, unless they're trying to teleport out of it, then you push them back in. Then you push them back in, that's right. <laughs> Get back in there. Uh, totally viable. Very interesting. Uh, okay, cool. Banshee's Whale, the good one. So there's a couple ways we need to test this. Obviously, it's going to be with and without the ancestral ability. So let's go ahead and group everybody together. We'll do a regular Banshee's Whale first. Uh, should be pretty easy to test. So let's bring everybody together once again. Nice, and then let's just fear you all. Bam! Oh my god. <laughs> oh man. So I, I noticed already that a couple of people weren't affected, but it might have been due to misses. And either I have no misses on the screen, so it looks like <laughs> it looked really funny though, with the, especially with the elk jumping around. Uh, fear immunity was cast as well, and everything. So now we can really tell what got hit and what didn't. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that is an eight maximum on Banshee's Whale. Uh, not really surprising, honestly. Uh, we have to test Fiend's Nell. But we let's try it. Let's see how this goes. Uh, Lance, do you want to bring your your pet back a little closer? Oh yeah. All right, cool. So we'll do that. We're gonna try fiend. Now fiend has a really small radius, so I, I really have to use the shadow vortex here. Man, do I love the shadow vortex. Oh man. All right, here we go. 
Oh my god. Oh jeez, how is that gonna be? Oh, it trips everybody. That's how we know. I forgot that it trips everyone. Yep, well, it, that's what they baked it in now. It says trips all enemies. Guess what it didn't do? It didn't trip all enemies. It tripped only eight targets. So there's a limit on eight for Fiend's Nell. I guess that's really how you pronounce it. Just one plant, it has to be your B. I'm passing to make a little bit. Okay, no problem. That's all good. Lands it's safe, okay? Um, all right, so I think that was the last one. Uh, we still need to test Banshee's Whale with a different uh, a different version. So uh, let's try the Phantasm, right? The Phantasm. Probably saying it wrong. So once again, I'll put you all together. We'll throw a Phantasm on you. It should hit everybody as opposed to the regular Banshee's Whale that is an eight-person target. So let's see how this goes. Uh, should affect everyone. Let's see how this goes. Oh my god, I can just, I can bloodlust at will. Okay, it's, it's hard not to see somebody affected by that. But that guy didn't get affected. Oh no, he did, he did. There's his fear immunity right there. So, yep. Everybody definitely affected from that Banshee's Whale. That's pretty easy to see. Um, what's really interesting is that I bloodlusted in the middle of the Shadow Vortex. And in the middle of the Shadow Vortex, then everybody got pulled together. So bloodlusting turns on and off Shadow Vortex um, with a word that Lancet and I have started using lately called dynamically. We, it turns it on and off dynamically quite nicely. Like, really reliably with bloodlust, which is really funny. Um... Yeah, man. Anybody, by the way, who wants to come and help us with the uh, testing, please do. We need as many people as possible. So, uh, Killer Keemstar, if you want to hop over, feel free to. We need more people to actually test with. Uh, this goes to anybody else who just uh, joined up with the Twitch stream. Please come over. There's a ton of stuff that we've got to test with lots and lots of numbers. Um, so, uh, the more the merrier. All you have to do is teleport over to GHA, and you can walk down from GHA from there. So, yep, yeah, there you go. Thanks for hopping by. Uh, again, anybody would be great. Uh, we had a lot more people yesterday. It was the first time we did it. Trying to do things like this two days in a row is a little bit tough, so we try to get the numbers that we can. All right, so I think... Uh, and Bella, you probably know more, but is that everything that we need to test in Witchcraft? Oh, wait, maybe you wouldn't know more. <laughs> You're playing mostly Skull Knight, right? Oh, maybe she went AFK. All right, so in that case, and I just got pinged. Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay. Um, all right, I think that's everything in witchcraft. I, there might be something in the ancestral ability or in the uh, the abyssal abilities. Um, I remember that we tested the 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 stone uh, site a long time ago. I, I doubt they've made any changes there, but it might be worth doing later. So I think we'll put that off to a different time, um, unless somebody here has the witchcraft. Uh, anyone here? have witchcraft abyss uh yeah abyssal i don't know if anybody does because no, the stone i can go grab it uh i could too but i don't want to do that right now we'll just test it a different time i don't want to have you leave and then come back with all that uh let me check all right he's gonna go check no problem uh all right let's move on then i don't want to waste time with things let's just keep trying to get as much stuff as we can i'll just note we'll check it out later uh, it's no problem to go back to these things during a future uh, session. But I believe that's everything in Witchcraft we need to test. I don't know if there's anything else. Let me see all the passives here. I think the passives don't really reflect uh, any AoEs. So, yeah, that should be it. All right, not me. Okay, no problem. All right, let's move on then uh, to... Oh, we've actually... We're, we're past our time, aren't we? We are past our time. Um, okay, let me try one more thing. So uh, let's wait for uh, 